With less than three months to the start of the competition, contractors are working feverishly day and night to complete the stadium before the competition starts in November. The stadium has been earmarked to host both the opening ceremony and the closing ceremony. When the last CAF inspection team visited the country, they expressed dissatisfaction at the progress of work at the facility, which led to rumours the tournament might be taken away from the country. That was a month ago. Since then, however, the roof, which was taken down for structural works, has been put back up. But a lot remains to be done. Seats have been ripped up and have yet to be refixed. Work has yet to begin on the scoreboard. The pitch, which has been relayed, is still sparsely populated by grass. Overall, it appears there's still work to be done before CAF decides on September 27 if Ghana will be ready to host the rest of Africa. But the contractors are confident. Structural engineer working on the 40,000 capacity stadium, Bediako Ose Mohamed, says the stadium will be ready for Hanover next month. We have this in phases. The phase one is made up of the structural waste that is taking off the rust, and then that is on VIP, orange stand, and that of the scoreboard. For now, the VIP you can see it is now roof, and then the orange stand also. Now we are on the blasting, and we have almost finished with the internal side that we are starting the external part, and then on the scoreboard also we are now left with two levels to get it done. The seats you can see, but spraying the seats, that one is not a major problem. We, we are not spraying the seats because of the dust that we are creating. That's why we're holding on. Doing it in 14 days, we can get those ones done. We can finish before the three months. We can finish. We are prepared to hand over in October. 